Hello Taurus, let's get started with your reading. For all of those of you who might be new to tarot, this is a general reading, so it's like a buffet table. Take what applies to you and leave the rest. And this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Taurus. Welcome to all new visitors, watchers, cross watchers, and my beloved subscribers. Thank you for joining me here today. The overall energy for Taurus and love. Strategy. What are you up to, Taurus? Oh, I like the energy. Strategy is always good. We should have a strategy in life. Woo. Man holding a heart has a strategy for you. Somebody has designs on you and you have designs on someone else. I like it. Sexy energy, Taurus. Very sexy energy. <laughs> so let's see what's happening here. So let's see what the energy is for our beautiful Taurus friends in love. What is going on? What are the messages for Taurus in love from spirit? What are the messages from spirit for Taurus in love? I'm going to take those, okay? So let's see. Seven of coins. You are looking at your relationship. You are looking at a relationship. This is actually Taurus energy. You're measuring, you're weighing, you're assessing. You're not making any decision right now. You're just looking at things. You have things to say though. There's something that you have to say to someone and look at that beautiful energy of the Four of Wands. Some of you are thinking about marriage. Some of you are trying to figure out whether you want to get married. Uh, some of you are figuring out how to try to solve a problem, it appears, in a relationship. For those of you who are married, it looks as though you have something to work out. Okay, look at this. You want a victory and the beautiful Capricorn Queen. So you have a victory in love right now. Some of you may have just gotten engaged. Some of you are thinking about marriage and it does look like somebody has a strategy here. <laughs> the man with the heart looks like there may be the thought process. You may be talking about marriage with someone, or for some of you, that's definitely the case. For those of you who are married, you're strategizing about the next step. The two of coins, you are juggling two ideas. Could be two people technically, but I'm seeing right now, it looks like two, two different ideas. You're d juggling your options. It could be about buying a home. It could be about having a baby. It's the, like the next step. What's the next step is what I'm seeing, wherever you're at. Three of Wands, there we go, the next step. So the Three of Wands energy is about looking into the future and saying, you know, we're at a crossroads. This, is, this could be like the Two of Wands also. We need to make a decision. We know what the options are. Now we need to see how we can best manifest what we want. Four of Coins, it's about saving money, holding back from spending. You know, if you're going to get married, you're going to need money, <laughs> right? To have your dream wedding. Ten of Swords, okay. So there seems to be an idea that's that's not treated very well here. The Ten of Swords can be a betrayal. It can be something that was communicated or said. Looks like there's some anger. There looks, you know, the, I always think that the Knight of Swords runs with scissors. So you're not talking about something that needs to be discussed that feels like a defeat. You do want a new beginning, so you do want the journey. The Knight of Pentacles says that that's a plan. The Virgo energy is all about the man with the plan. So I'm also getting that you have options. Okay, Taurus, you have options. We have the Two of Swords. You're not deciding right now. You could be juggling two lovers. You definitely know what you want. Your goal is to be married and have a victory in life. You probably have walked away from, look at this, she's walking away from a heartbreak. When we look at that into a new beginning. So many of you are starting something new. Some of you might have been married. Some of you are just simply single heading to marriage. So love the energy though. It is a success. Look at that. Ten of coins. This is one of your outcome cards. You are headed very deliberately, very, very well-planned strategic strategy, 
earth sign because Virgos are the strategists in problem solving. You're going to get your wish fulfilled. That is a legacy marriage with children with abundance, one in which you're on the same page, you save your money, you, you have, you create a, a legacy for children that includes the a nice home, that hopes and dreams for love coming true. But the legacy marriage is all about having security. It's Taurus energy. It's the essence of Taurus energy. Doing the hard work is Virgo energy. So I feel as though some of you may have a love or a romantic opportunity, an offer from a Virgo coming in or a Pisces. I feel as though the Virgo is going to be the winner here for you, Taurus. It looks very grounded. You have coin, coin, coin. Very interesting energy in the placement of the energy. The King of Cups energy. You are not going to talk about your feelings. You're going to let love speak for itself. You're going to notice what other people are doing. You're going to judge them on their actions. And we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. This is such a great reading. This is so much fun. The story is told right here. Even without clarifiers, it's really clear. You have divine couple. You have the both, both of you are working on this legacy relationship. Okay. But let's clarify and get some details because details are fun. But let's also look and see what journey spirit is telling you that you're on right now. This journey of love. Okay, so let's see. What is, what's the journey that's being shown this week? Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's just fantastic. I love the energy. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to clarify. Let's see what we have here. I'm not going to clarify all the energy. Uh, it's not all of it is mysterious. Some of it is because of the way it, it manifests in the relationship. So let's get to see what's happening in this love life of the king and queen of cups. That's Cancerian queen and that is Scorpio king. It doesn't have to be a sun sign rising Venus or moon. It simply means that you're highly compatible, that you're very emotional and warm with each other. And you, it's so interesting. You might be a mystery to other people, but you're very quiet about your emotions, your emotions. You're really not talking about them a lot. Um, you know, we get the moon card. Is there some, there's some concern here, but you are making practical plans. But this is Pisces. It's a grand trine. When we get the moon energy, we see two people who are very gentle with each other. And, you know, we get Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's a grand trine. It means that without saying a word, you understand each other. The Page of Pentacles says that you're very practical in your communications, that you don't talk about your emotions that much. You simply show up for each other with the Page of Coins. Okay, so let's see what we have here. What is being ignored? What are you not looking at right now? You're just taking a break. You're not making a decision about, ooh, devil energy. Oof. Yeah, somebody left behind. Somebody who caused conflict. That's Capricorn energy. Your hermit energy, we have Virgo twice here. So again, you're very much on a mission strategizing how to have this love relationship that you want. You're ignoring, most likely most of you are ignoring somebody who may have ghosted you, who may have left you behind, who seems, might even have you blocked. You have a lot to say to this person though. Seven of Swords, there was deception, there was pain. Wow, no wonder you are very much strategizing. So I feel like, you know, you were you were trying to get this person to evaluate the relationship in terms of what could be done. And this person just sort of went rogue on you. They really hurt you, I think. That runs with scissors. That Knight of Swords card is runs with scissors. This person is most likely, it's Gemini energy. But, you know, with the Seven of Swords, which is Aquarius, what they didn't tell you is they just want their freedom. And they left you behind, Five of Cups. They left you just feeling really sad and lonely. 
Uh, but here you are, Taurus, in your reading. You are about to manifest everything you want. Look at, you're just, you're saying, okay, okay, if that's what you want, I'm going to take care of myself, and you just, and you left them behind. So however this piece of the relationship worked, this is who you are. You are Taurus, and you are manifesting through strategy with your heart, being true to yourself, looking for your happiness. You're manifesting what you want. You have a victory in love right here, so we don't need to really show the details of that. Let's see, what is the Capricorn Queen doing here? That's doing the work. Virgo is doing the work. That's very powerful energy for you. Seven of Cups, yeah. You really have a lot of people who are interested in you. And you're going to make the grounded decision. You're going to make the decision based on who works to receive your attention. The Capricorn Queen. Capricorn is a ruler of, you know, our careers and what we're willing to put time in to do. It's the strategy. It's the manifestation. So you're going to allow the dreamers and the drifters to disappear. You don't care. You're making the practical choice. You don't want anybody. It's okay if you have lots of options and you do because you're very deliberate in what you're manifesting. So you're going to juggle two lovers and it looks like these two lovers are, you know, the single people here on the table as you as you work on this this look forward into your life. We have the Knight of Pentacles is becoming the King of Cups. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Can't even make this up. The Knight of Cups is becoming the Queen of Cups, creating a legacy marriage. Once again, Queen and King of Cups. Really striking energy. You're very on guard. You know, you're manifesting what you want. You're willing to do the work. We have healing, success, happiness. Okay. So, this is your outcome. Your outcome is that you leave something behind or you've recently left something behind. You're willing to juggle for victory. There you go. There's your strategy. You're willing to juggle for the strategy of obtaining what you want and you're going to hold back so you don't have anyone who stabs you in the back. You're not going to give anybody too much energy until they prove themselves and there we go. Manifestation card, manifestation card, Taurus. You are a great uh, manifester. This is also healing and hopes and dreams for love coming true once again. What do we need to know? Two of Cups. There you go. There you go. So even though you and your person come together with some trepidation, some fear, there's a little bit of fear, but look at that with that a wonderful page of pentacles. You both say, you know, let's let's go about this. Let's let's really put our worries aside. Cancerian energy, you instinctively know that even though in the past you were fearful about being underwater, about being deceived by someone, that you instinctively know that you can trust this person. Wow, best can't. That is the best Taurus reading I've had in a long time. Really beautiful. Really beautiful energy. And look at this energy clarifying the Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. That is Scorpio energy. It's the energy of being able to revive and to survive and to thrive. Revive, survive, and thrive. And that is what you are doing, Taurus. Whatever you were afraid of, whatever you left behind here was brilliant. It was a great choice. It looks as though so many of you are off to a great new start for the new year. Sending you love from Chicago. It's been a joy speaking with you today. Send some love back. Tell me where you're from. And if you like the content, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and give a thumbs up. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.